It's just, it's unique, it's versatile, it envisions, it's newsy, it inspires, it suits, it's juvenile. Arambe Timo Veda Kare Wakwa Karada Ome Ome Arambe Ome 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 Is a woman supposed to be kissing in public? But some women break the rule. You're saying no because you know that there is a code of conduct. Unwritten. You met it. Your parents teach you these things all the time that you must not be seen misbehaving in public. Yeah? Should a girl should a girl be seen fighting in public? Or well, some girls from it. Should a girl be seen? Drinking beer from the bottle no, to her mouth. No. But what happens? That's what we're talking about. Many will ask what the difference between manners and etiquette. Now, etiquette, this is the difference. That etiquette is a science of social living which consists of rules and guidelines. to help social interruption, interaction run smoothly. How I talk to you, how I do business with you, the respect I put into talking with you, yeah? my attitude towards you will either make you angry or you make, make you like me to do business more, to always come to see me. These are the interruptions we are talking about. But well, universally, we have a way that is acceptable to everybody in the world. If you say good morning to me, for example, it's expected that the morning, the morning truly is good, you smile, right? When you say that. Isn't it? And what do I say? Good morning. Good morning. Do you understand? It's the same thing. Are you... Headed to the market is not a crime. I'm talking socially with you, but with evidence of respect. That is the idea. But we'll go further and I'll tell you what etiquette is. Manners are the behavior we use to apply the rules of etiquette. Manners are the behaviors we use to apply the rules of etiquette when interacting with others. Manners oil the wheels, so to speak. They are one of the most important ingredients for success in today's global econ economy. He says, over the generations, we have moved from roles to relationships. Manners create relationships. Etiquette is a cement to the relationship. I said, your boys. How you even sit down shows that you are a refined person. How you sit down. How you look at me tells me you are a refined person. Now the difference between how you look at me and how any other person will look at me if I'm doing something that irritates you is your facial expression. Do you understand? Yes. What would a market woman do? Show me. <laughs> what, huh? Smile. What would a refined woman do? Smile. Even when she's irritated, there's a right smile on her face. You will get the message. She does not need to speak. She looks at you. You would get the message. It's refinement. It's called mannerism. It's called etiquette. You don't give you good reasons why etiquette is a must for all of you and what etiquette stands for. 
amongst women, they, they make this common mistake. Very common mistake. When I'm talking to you, for example, if I take you out and I'm talking to you, the tendency is for you to go on your phone while we're talking. You're pinging. Yeah? You have no class. What would you have done? If it was necessary for you to have been, what would you have done? Arambe Timo Veda Karae Wakwa Karada Ome Ome Arambe Ome 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 Switch to talk. If it's important for you to send a message, for example, what would you do? Excuse me, please. Let me just this message. Let's edit it. Well, if you do once, you keep doing, you keep doing. Trust me, I'm gone. I'll pay the for what we have had so, because you are putting the taxi and say, no, well, you know why? You have no class. A woman is an embodiment of class. Without being saucy, without being, listen to this, the woman is of class, I said one, without being saucy, second, without being proud. Do you understand? Without having a peacock attitude, she's of class. You come to my house, the very first time you come to my house, as you go in, as you sit down in my house, yeah? Maybe I go into my room to pick up something or maybe to get ready to get set and come see you. If I come out, you have started seeing everything in my house. You have gone to the other room to check what is there. How do you describe yourself? Yeah? You lack the basics. You lack everything. You open my fridge when I've not asked you to go to my fridge. You pick up drink. Yeah, just come to the house for the first time. You understand? You pick up drink and you Hey! What do you want to drink? It's just common with our dogs now. Can I offer you something? Yes. What can I offer you? What why did you say that we talk? And it shows that your name is a wolf in the middle. A woman who has class, even if she drinks and dread, you know what she'll say? Can I have a soft drink? Now you man, I go push. She's just being herself. But our women today will demand for it. Then when you can't afford it, this is crazy, I'm for the one. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? But well, you've forgotten one thing. You have just lost your tomorrow at this moment. Because the impression the guy will have about you will last forever. It will never change. Even when you become a born again, that impression will still be there. You understand it now? Now, you make calls. It happens every day. I see women say. They are in a vehicle, traveling, or somewhere like this. Yeah? Hello? Hello? That's a woman. Hey, where are you talking about? That's a woman shouting. Who is a woman, really? Trust me. Who is a woman? How do you describe a woman? Soft and what? Now when a woman starts to peel up, what do you think that woman is? She has no class. She has no place. There's no, no matter the school she attended, she has no class. You understand? She is not spotless. She is full of dirt. And it happens. A woman should not Take note of what I'm going to say here now. 
part of it they will say it's your it's your behavior is a collective mannerism put in check by rules and conduct the word courtesy for example started from the court the courtyard in in the 18th 17th century in Europe I mean what am I saying in the 15th century in Europe that courtesy how a woman behaves in the presence of the king that's why they say this person is courtly this person has courtesy well done well done yeah that's why they say that it's an attitude it's a, it's a social behavior that differentiates you from a commoner who is a commoner it's not somebody who is poor it's somebody who doesn't have this refinement we're talking about right now. so you're described as a commoner you get my drift now a woman should never take note a lady there's a difference between a woman a woman is anybody a lady is one who is refined a girl is Chris I'm giving you my my definition of who you should be now, it depends on who you want to be girl this street now and I get rid of a category that Chris who is a woman? The one that talks to her. Hey! I'm going to get a Yeah, people. Now come on, guys. That's a woman. A lady is one who has all the refinements. So, a lady has no reason to wake up, dress up, go out. At the end of the day, what does she do? Check this out. She shakes a man before the man brings his hands. That's not a lady. Trained ladies sit down, legs crossed, yeah, and they are taking, they are sipping their drink, not rushing it. If she decides to accept the man's hand, wonderful. If she doesn't, do you understand that? That's what is called my leadership. I can assure you that when you become when you become a lady, nobody will talk to you anymore. They will calculate themselves before they talk to you. Even on the streets. You are not posing. The way you walk, the way you walk, your calculated steps makes a difference. <laughs> Do you understand? You calculate your steps. You are not overdoing it. It's a training. You are not showing off. You are conscious of your environment. You don't lack confidence. The lady does not. Then you find it with all the etiquettes. You don't finish eating. Are you? This is what you're doing. Just you be cover your mouth. No one sees that. That's a lady. Do you understand? There are different, different etiquettes. <coughs> different. Even in public, on stage, how you act. When you want to answer questions, there's a position you take to answer your question. When you want to sit down, you just, we lady, I see women just sit down. Bah! There's a woman who sits down. She's courteous with it. Do you know the way? Can you teach me? Teach me. Let me see. If you, let me see if you know that. But today, that women wear skirts. What do you see? You know why? They're all wearing jeans, trousers, and open their legs. When they wear skirts, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah? I don't know the difference. A woman is supposed to be closed, not open. She opens for only one person. The dress you wear, a refined woman who knows what etiquette is, does not expose when she's dressed. 
that cleavages are not exposed. It's economically viable to everybody to waste it. So show me. Finally show you. You have to bring the food to me from your husband, for example. Yes? Okay. Ordinarily, what you just did right now is when somebody has either finished eating or when the person is eating and needs to take a break to go take water, drink or something, that's when this comes. When you leave a spoon inside, like you're eating with somebody eating rice now, and you don't eat, you got it, you're the bushiest person in the world. Yes. There's more like that. Take that picture. Take it, take the picture. That's it. The next person should come and try. Who's it back? Next person. Next person. Next person. I'll put it back. Put it back. Next person. This is your assignment. On the day of this event, this question will come. It's your assignment. Don't talk with food in your mouth. If someone is asking you a question, please finish the thing before you answer. Keep your elbows off the table while eating. Wash your hands after going to the restroom. My children know better, so why do I see adults exhibiting such poor behavior? You are exhibiting these behaviors. If you bump into someone, say, or, excuse me, excuse me. Don't reach across someone's face. Don't take some to the other side. Don't reach across someone's face. Don't board a plane when you are loading Group A and you are in Group D. Happens in most um, travel vehicles too. It does happen. Don't stay behind the crosswalk when you are making left turn. Uh, this is not right. Then. Don't let your kids act like wild monkeys in a restaurant. For those of you who are going to have children, and God bless you, have a car. And your child's in the car, do yourself one favor. Please don't wind down. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Going bananas and I don't wanna split I go crazy when I think about it Like if you get a man, are they bound to weep? And if I step on the field, are they bound to slip? Cause you got me, feeling like a rat in a maze Cause you got me, lovely like my eyes in the days Cause you got me, full of mental like when it was phased Are they come outside your house? I've been watching you for days Mama, what is your, what is your name? My name is Rosie Tawa Okay Mama, you get any dots away with part of this pageant? Yes uh, What is your uh, repeat name? Irene Irene Which community should you represent? Ogunami Ogunami community Agbaro So Mama, you appreciate your Peking Be part of this beauty pageant? Yes uh, Your Peking fine? Yes She fine well? Well, well, very beautiful uh, She black or she yellow or she fair? fair. She's fair <laughs> Uh, so, Mama, if your picky no win, how you go feel? Oh, my daughter must win. She must win. Yeah, that's my belief. Uh, but she no win, how you go feel? No, I, I, she must win. She must win. Yes. Okay. <laughs> what do you go feel? Talk, tell the organizers. You want to thank them. You want to appreciate them. What do you go feel? Tell the people who organize this Miss Abaro, Nigeria. I would, I would, I would thank them. I will pray for them. That is my prayer for them. Your prayer for them. Yes. What's your name, ma? Gloria. Sorry, ma. Gloria. Gloria. Gloria okay, Auntie Gloria, uh, um, um, this is Miss Agbaru, Nigeria, 2016. So, Mama, do you have any daughter um, that is part of this pageant? Yes. What's her name? Miss Sarah Agbe. Miss Sarah Agbe. Which of the communities, villages is she representing? Unyamugu community. Unyamugu. Okay. So, are you happy that your daughter is part of this pageant? Yes, yes, I'm very happy. How excited are you? I'm happy. I'm so happy, she was, I'm very happy to be and be, she has to be one of them, I'm so very happy. Okay, ma, so, um, ma, um, what can you say about your daughter? Um, what, what can you say about her? Well, my daughter is fine, she loves things like this, yeah, she's beautiful, she, she likes modeling, that's so fun and so on. She's excited. Okay, okay. So, um, what can you say to the organizers of this event, Juvenis Magazine, for putting such an event together, bring the force of its care in Agbaro Kingdom? Well, I can say, well, I'm so happy for them to put something like this to this Agbaro community. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Okay, do you think the people of Agba will love it? Yes, Are yes, they excited they that this yes, is happening? Yes, everybody. Everybody. Love, yeah, they love it. My name is Pat. Pat, uh, Pat, um, today I'm Miss Agba in Nigeria 2016. Where will you do for Agba Kingdom? Yes. So, you, Pat, you get any friend or his sister will be part of this pageant? Yes. What will be her name? Angela. Yes. Angela. Yes. Which community is she representing? Yes. Upopo. Okay, uh, but you don't have to say your friend is part of this beauty pageant. Yes, sir. Uh, so, what if you talk about uh, your friend? Is she fine? In a correct girl, she said she'd be more there. What if you talk about um, Angela? A fine girl, in a correct girl. She said, she uh, yeah. So, if you say she feel win this pageant, she don't have the winner. Uh, so, if she don't win, I go feel. I go feel she don't win. Because they move on, they go like that now. Okay. Because they give God glory. God bless the people of community. God bless Agbaro, Nigeria. What's your name, ma'am? I am Sister Emu Patricia. Okay, Mama, this is Miss Agbaro, Nigeria, 2016. Yes. Um, do you have any daughter that is part of this pageant? Yes, I have a daughter, a beautiful daughter, LK Miss Opere. But which of the communities is she represented? Opere community. Opere yes. community. Yes. yes. Okay. Ma, um, what can you say about the people of Orere community? The people of Orere community, they are very industrious people. I can say a long time ago, I participated in the building of the bridge, carrying the, the so-called uh, concrete. I participated in it. So we are very industrious. Okay. So uh, are the people of Orere community... Uh, how do they give people, uh, uh, how do they welcome strangers? They, how welcome, they welcome strangers. If you go there right now, you find out that strangers are more than indigenous there. Um, are you happy that your daughter is part of this project? I am very happy that my daughter is part of this project. Because what I'm happy is that the way people view it, I'm not viewing it like that. I don't view it like that. So I'm very happy that she's participating. 
How is the people of Agbaro seeing it? Are they excited? Are they happy? They, were, they are very happy with me looking at it now with my own view. I think they are very happy. Because formerly when they did it far back, the way, they, the way it was uh, done, people are saying now it's meant for prostitute, this, this, this. But I think this one is going to make a difference in Agbaro people. By next year when they are going to comment another one, I think people are going to come more. Because the view of this one is quite different from the other ones we've seen before. Okay. So, my, what if your daughter does not win this thing? How would you I feel? still thank God if my daughter does not win, provided she's among the participants. Nice. nice. Thank you so much and God bless thank you. you. Thank you. One You're more welcome. thing. Now, has it been so far with your eight contestants oh, no. representing eight thank villages in Agbaro oh. Kingdom? Has actually, it been so far? Actually, actually, it has been fun. Ah. Fun. 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 Um, like... Um, Today we went to the radio station, West 93.1, and it was fun. We went for a discussion, showed them around, they sang at the studio, and it was so fun. And as you can see, also their parents they visited them today, and everybody were happy. They brought granuts to, you know, they have really missed those homemade food yeah. so we today is the visiting the their parents came and they it was fun 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 my name is Kex Ibus. yeah i'm the head of logistics for miss agbaro nigeria 2016. yeah the eight villages that go to this final stage they are one of the most they are one of the villages that have some history that we can't let go we remember most of them for a lot of things so I want to thank the various contestants that have got to this level. I want to congratulate them that they are making Agbaro Kingdom very proud.